What's going on YouTube? Jeans here, bringing you guys some more content for Pokemon Sword and Shield. In today's video, we're back, hopping back onto the rank double ladder with this Volcarona Sculpey and huge power Azumarill team. So if you guys are hyped, make sure you support the channel by smashing that like button and clicking that big red subscribe button. You guys already know the deal. You guys got it. But this team was sent in to me by my boy Randy. He sent in the last Volcarona and Sculpey team that we showed off in casual ladders, but he made some a little bit different and added it for the rank battle. So this is gonna be awesome. I cannot wait to use it, Randy. Thanks so much for dropping that team. If you guys wanna drop me teams, leave them in the comment section down below or best way to do it is DM me over on my Instagram page. I get a lot of comments, so Instagram, I get a few less, so I can actually see more that way. But rocking out on this team, we got a zoom roll. Gonna be showing off a zoom roll in today's video with huge power and that citrus berry to give it more HP. Aqua Jet for stab and first turn priority. Play rough as a nice big stab damage. Brick break the break screens and belly drum to set up that max attack and absolutely dominate out. We got Volcarona, same move set as we used last time with Bug Buzz, Heat Wave, Hurricane, and Quiver Dance right here. You can set up a Quiver Dance that's a plus one to our special defense, I believe, special attack and speed, and then we can absolutely just get off and get going. We got Skullpeed over here with Sword Dance. You guys already know, plus two attack, roll with that Expert Belt and Speed Boost, so it gets plus one speed at the end of every single turn with Mega Horn for stab, Poison Jab for stab, and EQ for a nice little coverage move. Next up in line, we got Tokus, Super Luck, and Scope Lens. Got Mega Crit Change right here with Air Slash, Dazzling Gleam, Heat Wave, and Follow Me. My favorite Tokus moveset right there. Just normal, keep it good, and we can get rolling with that. We got Stone Journer as well on this team, which will actually help out so well with our hard-hitting Pokemon. We got Power Spot on it, so when it's up next with somebody, when it's with our ally Pokemon, the ally Pokemon will get a boost of damage, so that's going to be awesome. And he also has that Focus Edge, so we can stay alive longer with Rock Slide, EQ, Wide Guard, Protect us from double-hitting moves, and protect. Then in the final spot, we got my boy Magnazone, Thunderbolt, Flash Cannon for stab, Ally Switch to actually just swap out Pokemon and uh, dodge some attacks and protect. You got Sturdy and that Air Balloon, so it cannot get hit by uh, Max Quake moves, or not Max Quake moves, uh, Ground moves, or cannot get one hit KO'd because of its ability. But if you guys want to use the team for yourself, rental code is at the bottom of the screen. Two Pokemon that I still really want to show off. Actually, I got a couple on the list. I'll tell it to you right now. I want to show off Cobalion, the other one, not Terrakion. There's three of them. So I want to show off Cobalion, uh, not Terrakion, the other one, uh, Tangrowth. I really want to see a Tangrowth team, and Licky Licky. If you guys have those teams, send them in. I would love to get my hands on them and potentially use them for my YouTube video. But without further ado, let's hop onto that rank ladder, try to get some wins for you guys. Starting off by going up against a Trick Room team. This guy's got a Lola Malwak. That thing's an absolute beast in Trick Room. Dust Cop sets Trick Room. T-Tar, Rillaboom, potential G-Max Rillaboom, or just Grassy Surge Rillaboom, probably. Uh, and DD and Hatterene set the Trick Room as well. So he has two Trick Room setters. Um, who should I go with turn one? Whom should I go with turn one? I could start off, I could set up like Quiver Dances. I could do all this different stuff. But I kind of want to go Skullipede. At the same time, I kind of want to do that. But I'm going to go Togekiss. And bum, 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 I could go Volcarona. Hmm. What do I want to do? What do I want to do, man? You could go Azumarill as well, but I'll bring Azumarill in the back end. I'm going to go Sculpede. And then I'm going to bring Azumarill and I think Magnezone? Magnezone can come up clutcher. Hmm. Now, we're going to go Volcarona in that final spot. Bring those double bugs. We're going to double up with the buggies. You guys already know the deal with the bugs. <laughs> but we do have Azumarill right yeah, for the back end. I just got to watch out using Aqua Jet when it comes to that uh, Psychic Terrain because it cannot use first turn priority moves. Guys, you want to catch more content from me? You guys already know the deal. Should I even say it? Should Jeans even say it? Link in the description below. Jeans25 on Twitch. Hit that follow button. Turn on those notifications so you know when your boy goes live. But he goes in DD Hatterain. Kind of obvious. He's going to set the uh, Psychic Terrain. Probably go for a Trick Room and maybe Expanding Force later on. But, hmm. Do I just... I think I should go after a hit real, real quick. I think I got a hit. I think I got a hit up. Let's get it. Psychic Surge is coming up. I was going to set up a uh, a Sword Stance, but I feel like if he sets up Trick Room after this, he'll just get first turn priority. Probably go into Expanding Force and just dump on me. So, let's get rolling here. A Dazzling Gleam. We go for a Heat Wave. What I want to do here? Air Slash. It's probably, probably Dazzling Gleam we'll go for. Do a little bit of damage, and I'm going to rock out into a Poison Jab. I'm going to try to hit you. Or I can go for a Megahorn. I'm going to go for a Megahorn, because just because I see the Follow Me coming out here. Just because of that. Yep, here comes Follow Me. So follow me comes out. Nice little call by Jeans to go into that. And Megahorn comes out. And this is going to do some nice damage to that thing. Look at that. Get out of here. Get out of my face. Bring that thing down to a sash. Bring it down to a lovely little sash. And then uh, Dazzle Green is going to come out here. Take out the Ndidi. And then he's still going to get the trick from up. Which stinks. Which stinks. We get a crit on that Ndidi. Even though it only had 1 HP. And we get a crit on the Hatterene. Which was wonderful. That was actually big for us. Okay. So we're sitting here. Trick room is probably coming out here. No. It goes for expanding force. Let's get it. I'll take that all day. 
I'll take that all day. Skull Peak goes down. I'm cool with it. I am totally cool with it. Let's get out Azumarill here. Let's get out Azumarill. Let's get out Azumarill. Or should I get out Volcarona? Who am I Dynamaxing? This is a real question. We get doubles the Pokemon attack stat. I could go into that or I could Dynamax Volcarona. I mean, the real question is, does he go Rillaboom here? Hmm. That's the problem. If he goes Rillaboom. Volcarona. Let's see. Let's check out the speed stats real quick. I think Volcarona is way faster than this thing. <gasps> Bro, this thing's gold? That is amazing. What you mean? Yo, that thing's gorgeous. Okay. I think I go Volcarona and uh, save Azumarill for the back end. Because I don't want to go Azumarill and just have him go into uh, Rollaboom and just end me up. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Let's see what he goes into. Rollaboom. There we go. There we go. Good thing I did not go into Azumarill. See, your boy's learning to think just a little bit more before he makes a play. And that's what I have to learn. I feel like that screws me over a lot is not thinking fully through uh, when making a play. Okay, right, so now we got Rollaboom. He's definitely going to fake out. So I should just Dynamax and take out that... Uh, now what's gone? Can I go for a follow me? I don't even think I should go for a follow me. I think I should go for an air slash over here. Dynamax and just go for an air stream, get the speed boost, or should I set the heat? Lower special attack. Hmm. Get the speed boost. I feel like we already have the speed boost. I feel like we do not need the speed boost. So I say we uh, set the drought, but then the drought won't help us out. Hmm. The drought won't help us out when Azumarill comes in here. So I think I'm just gonna go for. I'm just gonna go for an airstream. Take out the Hatterene. Get the speed boost. Roll out from there. Is he gonna Dynamax as well? That's that's my question. I think he's gonna fake out. I don't think he's Dynamaxing. We are Dynamaxing though. Let's get this Volcarona out here. Big old bug popping off in battle number one. Yes, sir. Look at this bug. Look at this bug coming out here. Look at it. As much as I wanted to go for a follow me, I was just like, okay, I think this thing is gonna go for a fake out, so I might as well not waste a follow me. See what happens here. Yep, fake out comes out. It's all that coming all day. All day. I'm cool with it. Hatterene's gonna go down here. We're gonna start getting speed boost as well. But see you later, Hatterene. No trick room for you. No trick room for you. Speed boost coming out. Um, he's probably gonna go for a grassy glide and try to take me out. Depends what his final Pokemon is. We'll determine if I go into a uh a, what's it called? They follow me or not. Tokus does flinch. We get some HP back. Is that neglect our life for damage? Just a little bit. Just a little bit. So, so good call by me for going into that Vol Volcarona over to Azumarill. But did you guys see that thing? It seems cold. Okay. Malwak comes out here. That thing is slow, but he 100% has got to go. That's a fact. He has got to go. I'm going to go for another Air Slash. And then do I just... Hmm, do I just flutter? Dude, so many things are super effective, I think. But I think malwak has got to go, right? I think we can just Aqua Jet it, so... I might just double up into the Rillaboom. You know what? Let me go for... Let me go for the follow me. And take out the Rillaboom. That's what I think I should do. Go into the follow me. And then take out the Rillaboom. With a Flare or a Flutterby? Let's go Flutterby. Get that uh, special attack. Drop in just a little bit. And it is Stab. Even though both these guys are big old physical attackers. But he's going to Dynamax that Mountain Whack. I know that thing's slow. I know that thing's slow. I do not want to set the heat, like I said, because I have Aqua Jet on my Zoomerill. And I want that thing to do as much damage as it possibly can. He's going to bring in big old Mountain Whack. And the following is going to come out. So I'm hoping maybe the Grassy Glide does not take out my girl Tokus. I think it's not very effective, but the Grassy Surge might actually help it out just as well. Let's see what happens here. We get off the nice and lovely follow me. What did you want, fools? What do you want? And out comes the Grassy Glide. Obviously, come on, eat this up. Eat this up. Bruh. He did not eat it up. What you mean? <laughs> I think Volcarona, Volcarona definitely goes first. So we should be able to take out the flood or the... Uh, but what's called here, the Rillaboom should go down here, no problem. So see you later, Rillaboom, and I need to eat up a shot from this Malwak. Fire won't be super effective, he's probably gonna go for a Ghost Move. Which I think we should maybe eat up, like, I don't really know, man. This thing's so strong. We already know how strong Malwak is with that Thick Club. Goes for a Max Quake. Okay, so it's not Stab. He's gonna get a Special Defense boost, and we do eat up all day. We do eat up all day. Okay, so we're actually sitting pretty fine here. I think he is gonna go into Max Guard. I think he is going to max guard because we have one more turn left, right? Yeah, we have one more turn left. So, do I belly drum now? I'm thinking of belly drum, no lie. Look at this thing, it's gold. It is gold. Okay, so I'm thinking of honestly just belly drumming. I think he's going to go into a max guard. 
And I think I just airstream and start boosting our speed. Yep, let's get it. Let's get it. So Belly Jump's gonna come out here. I can Aqua Jet next turn, and we should be chilling here. We should totally be chilling. Nice little call by me. Gold Azumarill, Belly Drumming up. Look at this thing. <laughs> this might be the coolest shiny. Seriously, let me know in the comment section down below what do you guys think is the coolest shiny. This is my first time seeing shiny Azumarill. This thing's like solid gold. This thing is tough looking. I love it so much. But Belly Drum pops out. We're plus six on attack with our ability huge power. I'm going into an Aqua Jet. Big old Aqua Jet coming at you. First turn priority. And then, do I drop a Hurricane? I think I gotta drop a Hurricane, right? I think I gotta drop a Hurricane. Let's see how much damage this Aqua Jet does. Yay! Bro, that's a heaping amount of damage for an Aqua Jet. Hurricane comes out. It connects. That should be game. Let's get it, baby. Yo, Azumarill coming up clutch in that last spot. With that Belly Drum, that was a nice read by me. I, it was pretty obvious he was going into that max guard. I was just like, yo, let me set up a Belly Drum while he's doing that. So Aqua Jet can do a crap ton of damage. But GG, 1-0 with this team. Let's hop into battle number two and try to start a win streak. Another Rillaboom squad. Have you guys been seeing a ton of Rillabooms on the rank ladder? Because I have. I feel like every single team I go up against has a Rillaboom. And I'm not a fan of it. I'm not a fan of it, even though he is so good. He is so good. I just like to see new Pokemon. You guys know me. But he has Titar, Grimmsnarl, Tokus, Exegel, Rillaboom, and Porygon too. So, Sand Team sitting up here. Sand Team. I kind of want to get uh, Azumarill up in there. Get rolling with Azumarill. But at the same time, how do I really want to do this? Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Whom do I want to go into? I think I want to lead the Zumero. Maybe try setting up a belly drum. And then just go on to follow me and start doing going from there. Let's do that. Try to set up a belly drum and roll from there. Have Stone Journer in the back end and then in the final spot, either Skullipede or Volcarona. Who's faster? I think uh, Skullipede is. Look how shiny and beautiful that thing is. Yeah, Skullipede does outspeed. And we get the speed boost. He could be a good back end Pokemon, especially with all these moves he has. Um, so I think Skullipede's going to be cool. Mining Zone doesn't really do too, too much here. Besides just Ally Switch. So I think we're fine with this. I really do think we're fine with this. If I can set up this Belly Jump, we can absolutely roll out. I can go Tokus, follow me until it's dead, and then bring out the Stone Journer and roll out from there. Let's get it. Let's get it. Because Stone Journer has that big old power spot. Giving that nice attack boost. But can we go 2-0? Oh? Look at my beautiful trainer card. I know everyone loves it. I know nobody says anything about changing it. So we're going to keep it the same. Now I'm just playing. You guys always tell me to uh, change it up. You're like, Jeans, change up your trainer card. I'm like, bro, this is the OG trainer, trainer card. Maybe one day we'll do it. Maybe one day. But for now, we're going to keep it the same. We're going to Shiny Gold Boy right here. Shiny Gold Boy. He's probably going to set up screens and all that. He's going to download as well. Get that special or just attack raise. Did I say attack? I thought it was always special attack. Hold up. I thought it was special attack that he boosts. Mm, I don't know. Guess not. Okay. So, definitely follow me. We're, we're trying to set up here. We're trying to set up and do the dirty. Get belly jump rolling. I think he's gonna he's definitely gonna fake out, but hopefully he goes after my Togi Wogi. See what you doing, fool? What you want? What are you gonna do? Are you gonna set a trick room? That actually might help my Azumar a lot. Let's see what happens. Oh, he's gonna go for a G Max Grimstar? Because there's no way you're Dynamaxing that Porygon, too. Let's see what you got, fool. Bruh, what is this? <laughs> Have you guys ever seen this? What's he doing? Yo, what's this dude doing? He's Dynamaxing a Porygon, too. I'm kind of scared. I am kind of scared. He's probably going to set up screens, then. You go for a Reflect. Like, what is this? What is going on, people? What is going on? Belly jump comes out. Dong, dong, da, da, dong. <laughs> Bruh. Look how big this glass duck is. He's doing top of lightning. We eat up just fine. It's just dandy. Super effective. We do outspeed. I think I'm going to take out Grimmy Grim. Just to tell him to knock it off with the screens. And I think I'm going to set the, uh, the water. And do some even bigger damage. There's another follow me coming out here. Got to keep this thing alive. I could go play for a play rough. To do that. We could set the geyser. I think I'm gonna go for a play rough. And just take out Grimstar earlier. Say, see you later, Grimmy Poo. Get out my face. Get out my face, little boy. Get it, cause it's 130. And I can set that terrain, take off that electric terrain as well. What you want, Mr. Rubber Duck? What you want, not rubber duck, glass duck. I kinda want like a glass porygon. How dope would that be? It's just like a little uh like collectible. Like, say like this tall. 
Give it like two, two, one and a half to two feet. Just a glass Porygon. That would be tough, and you guys know it. And you guys know it. But we got Belly Jump set up right here. We're looking pretty good. We got a follow me coming out here. He cannot figure out. He's probably going to set up the light screen and start going from there. And uh, I do have Brick Break. So when I pop out after my Dynamax, I could potentially Brick Break. I still have my Citrus Berry as well, which could come in big for us. So let's just see what happens here. We go with the follow me over here. Over here. But I am so surprised to see this Porygon 2 come out here. Like, what is this? Like, what is this? Who Dynamax is a Porygon 2? Like, Dynamax on Whimsicott. <laughs> or Dust Cops. Like, what are you doing? But Grimstarl's gone. Like I said, we're plus six. We're chilling. We change up that terrain. He's probably going to change it back to electric as well. Because he was going to go for the max landing again. The thing is, this thing has no stab damage. That was the problem with Porygon Z. But Porygon Z had Hyper Beam. And he still hit like an absolute truck. Considering he has adaptability as an ability. And it just brings that stab damage up. But Tokus is going to go down here. Which I'm totally fine with. I'm totally fine with. Now the real question is, is this, does this thing have the Evo Light? That's what I'm kind of concerned with. Does this thing have the Evo Light? But he has got to go. I don't want him one tap in my Azumarill. I'm going to target him next turn and go into Stone Journey and bring out that power spot. Look at that. Just being next to the Pokemon, powers up, moves. So we're going to be rocking out with that. I think I'm going to drop a... Uh, do I drop a Starfall? I think Starfall is our best bet here. And maybe set the terrain or the, the rain afterwards. So Aqua Jet can do more. A shiny stone journal coming out here. Real Boom's popping out as well. Hmm. Okay. I really do not think a grassy guy does take us out. He does change up the terrain. I gotta change it up again as well. But I definitely gotta go into a uh a what's it called. Hmm. What am I going to here? Fly guard won't do anything. This will just rock side of here. I wonder who he's gonna go after. I'm gonna go rock side. I'm gonna change up this uh I mean Knuckle is super effective to it. But I'd rather change up that terrain. I really would rather change up the terrain. So I'm going to go with that. I'm not dealing with this grassy surge stuff. He might actually take me out with one grassy surge. But you go, hmm. Not a fan. Not looking Not looking forward to it. Grassy guy comes out. Eat it. Oh, man. No, Azumarill. No. Oh, man. That's a little rough. That's a little rough. Okay, final spot is Skullpeed. No boom is life form. I think he's life form. Oxide comes out. Yeet. There's a little bit of damage. That's some decent damage to that robot. We got a crit on it. Okay. I'm cool with it. We're going to go for a max lightning. We're fine with that. That's fine. That's easy eats. That's easy eats with our sash. But we didn't even need our sash. Okay, so. Skullpeed's got to be fastest. Skullpeed's 100% fastest. I can take out Rollboom in one shot. For sure. Hmm. The real question is. His Dynamax is over. Yeah, his Dynamax is over. Okay. So I gotta get rid of that roll boom. I think he's gonna go into a grassy guide, so I'm gonna protect my stone journer. And I'm gonna go into a poison jab, take that thing out. How many Pokemon does he have left? It's three, okay. I'm definitely going to that protect. I'm gonna play by me. And then just poison jab, take out roll boom. And then, then, then we'll see what happens from there. This one could come close. Won't be coming in that back end. Dude, roll booms are so strong, man. That grassy glide is just. Ugh! I already know about that. I think it's just so strong. So strong, especially because when you grassy surge it, it gets a 1.3 times multiplier. Poison Jab comes out, though. He does not go for a grass fight. I'm surprised by that. I'm really surprised by that. I wonder what he's going for. Maybe a knockoff? Uh, Porygon's going to go for a try attack and it's going after my Skull Beat. So we didn't even have to drop a what's it called. We didn't even have to drop a protect. We do get the speed boost, so we have speed advantage right now. I know Stone Journey outspeeds that Porygon. We proved that last round. So T Tar comes out. Okay, T Tar. Mega Horn might be able to do him dirty. Mega Horn might be able to do him dirty. Do I wide guard here? Let's say he goes for a rock side. I think I have to wide guard. Cause that Porygon takes out my Skull Pete any day of the week. This is what I, this is honestly what I think I have to do. I think I have to go here, and I have to land two Mega Horns. I think we have to take out Porygon and Tizar. I think wide guard with the Rock side because say I go after say, hmm, this is tough. I already made my call. I already made my call. Hopefully he goes for Rock side. I'm either relying on a flinch or this Y guard to come and clutch for us. And say he goes for Rock Side and we have to take out Porygon. 
Let's see what happens here. Leghorn comes out, and of course we miss. Bro, what you mean? T Tar goes for an iron head anyway. And Sculpey goes down. Man! Big call by me, but still, we missed our Mega Horn. Um, yeah, that was a tough one sitting at the end. He was just going to recover. Wow, he was just going to recover. I could have went for the Mega Horn on T-Tar, but probably would have missed that one anyway. And then could have uh, went after the Porygon, but still, it would have been close either way. It would have been close either way. But, yo, GG to this guy. We're going to go one-on-one -on -one with this team so far. I'm just going to run because there's no way Stone Jr. is going to beat out any of these guys. He's kind of just there for that power spot. But one on one with this team so far, we're gonna hop to our third and final battle and try to get a winning record. Two and one's not bad. So hopefully we can get it. One and two wouldn't be too bad either. That first battle we got to show off uh pretty well. That second battle, this one right here, we had Azumarill in the bag. Like we set him up and all that. Weren't able to trigger that citrus berry. And of course, Rinda Boom's gotta come out here, set his little grassy surge, and then go into a grassy glide and just take us out in one shot. I just think Rillaboom is so strong right now. Like, mmm, he's so annoying, but let's get it. Let's hop into our third and final battle. Guys, we are in trouble. This guy's got Porygon Z. Everybody run. We are dead. We are dead. Porygon Z is an absolute beast. But third and final battle coming at you guys. We're going for a two and one record here. Is Indeedy Talonflame. Talonflame is an absolute beast. Porygon Z, absolute beast. Incineroar, Tokus, and Urshifu. And Urshi, Urshifu. Okay. Who should I go into from here? Who the hell should we start? He's going to have Talonflame. He's probably going to try to set up a Tailwind. Probably go Gale Wings, all that good stuff. He might go in DD, so I don't know if Azumarill is the right call to actually get rolling right off the rip. Um, I could go Skullipede? Hmm. I kind of want to go Special Attacker just in case that Incineroar comes out here. Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. I'm thinking Magnezone. I think I'm just getting Magnezone off the rip. I feel like he does work here with that Electric. So we're going to go Magnezone. Probably going to fake me out. we go Azumarill as well. Zumarel could be pretty good. But, mm hmm. How should I roll this one? Let's go Tokus. Let's go Tokus here. And then I want to bring. Do I double bug up? Do I double bug it? I definitely want to bring Skullpeed. I feel like Skullpeed is an absolute beast. And then. I think we'll go Zumarel. With all that firepower he has. That Talon Flame and that, uh. That Incineroar. And that Urshifu as well. We can go into a, uh. Nice little play rough. We're gonna get rolling with our Zumarel. And keep Volcarona in the back end. Keep him in the back end. But, one and one so far. Not bad second battle. If he didn't have that Rillaboom, you guys know it. If he didn't have Grassy Glide, we would have dumped on it. Would have been GG. It would have been over, but still. Rillaboom's so strong, like I said, in the last battle. It's just it's just so tough to play up against him sometimes. But he goes Talonflame, Incineroar. Kind of obvious. He's going to set up a Tailwind and go for a Fake Out. That's totally fine by me. I am going to try to drop a uh, little Thunder. Look at this double shiny action, baby. Ooh, look at clean. Intimidate comes out. We special attacking. I am sturdy as well. And I'm just kind of scared of the firepower. I'm kind of scared of the firepower because of my, uh, my main zone. I'm going to go here. Try to get that rolling. And then do I just go for an air slash? Death and Glee? What should I go for? I'm going to, uh, double up into here. Because I don't want to have Gale Wings and just, uh, absolutely roll out. But still, it's probably going to be up faster than both my Pokemon combined anyway. <laughs> He's got to be going for the pick out, right? I'm calling. It's probably fake out on Magnezone and then go into a nice little tailwind. I could have, I could have ally switch, but I would have done nothing. I would have done nothing if he was going for my Magnezone. I would just waste a turn with the Magnezone and then uh, that Tokus takes the fake out. And make a move, kid. I think he's deciding whether to go into a Flare Blitz. That's what he does. He goes for a tailwind. I think that's what he was deciding on whether he was going for a Flare Blitz or not. But I thought he was going in tailwind. That's why I didn't follow me. And oh, he goes into a player, but it's okay. Little hunk of junk. And we go sturdy, though, which I love. Which I love getting a little sturdy action. Yes, sir. It's like a free little, it's like a free little focus ash there. Take some nice recoil damage. People comes out here. Get it. Take him out. See you later. Get rid of that talent flame right down in there. Dazzling gleams. No, air slash is actually going to go straight down over onto that Incineroar. You'd love to get it. Let's get it, baby. Not bad damage. Not bad damage. So not a bad start. Not a bad start for us. 30 happening. We're making him waste his berry. Um, he did not go for a fake out. That was, uh, actually crazy. Actually crazy. But I knew we had 30, so we're chilling. We were able to get that talent flame out of the way, so now we don't have to worry about him coming in with a big old Brave Bird, big old, uh, Flare Blitz, because we know, everyone knows, talent flame's actually a really, uh, hard attacker, too. He hits like a truck. It's like a truck. Because it's his next Pokemon, as he has the talent advantage, and we're in trouble. We are in some deep trouble, baby. Shiny, too? Leave me alone. Please, just leave me alone. That's all I asked for. It's going to protect. Hmm. 
Hmm. I'm trying to waste out his uh, tailwind. He's gonna die to Max Purion. That's uh that's obvious. But you know what? Instead of going for Peck, let's take out Let's let our boy go. I'm gonna go after Cincinnati. Oh my god, I want to go for an ally switch instead. I thought I backed out, and I thought <laughs> Togi Kiss or Magazine's turn would have came after that. But still, he's not an extra Porygon. Definitely adaptability, probably Life Orb as well. Ooh. I think Sculpey's gonna have to be the one to come in there and just start beating on this thing. But yo, I love Porygon's. I love when he spazzes out too. He's not just like spaz out, but he just starts like moving his arms and stuff all crazy. You guys know what I'm talking about. And you guys will see it when he does it. But Protect comes out from Magnum Magnazone. Someone's gotta be going after it. It's gotta be Incineroar, right? G Max Strike comes out, and he's going after. He's going after Tokus. Tokus eat it somehow. Oh my lord. Adaptability and Life Orb OP. OP, and you guys know it. <laughs> like, that is insane. That is just insane. And then we're gonna block up on this uh, Darkest Larry, and then I'm gonna ally switch next turn to protect whatever Pokemon I have. I could just go Azumarill and Aqua Jet. And say, you know what, this is what I'm gonna do. I think best call would be uh, Ally Switch go into Aqua Jet, and then I can Aqua Jet next turn and Dynamax Skull. That's looking pretty good. So Ally Switch here. Aqua Jet over onto you. Attack him. Let's get him. And then the Max Strike is coming after my Zoom Roll. It's gotta be. Look at him. Here he goes. Look, he's spazzing. <laughs> but yeah. And then have uh, a Zoom Roll eat off this Darkest Lariat. And then be able to get off on Aqua Jet if, he, if this uh, instant order does go, out, go down this turn. So, Ally Switch comes out. Here comes our Aqua Jet. Can you take him out here? I would love you forever. Oh, are you kidding me? What you mean, dog? Strike coming out here. No way you read an Ally Switch. Yeah, he does not. Magazine goes down. And he's going to slow us down just a tad bit. And is Tailwind gone? No, Tailwind is not gone. I'm going to have to Dynamax. I think I got a Max Guard here. Good for that Tailwind. Just to end a little bit. And we should be able to eat up this Darkest Slayer, and we should be able to go into a Protect next turn. We're not a Protect. Another Aqua Jet and take it out. Look at that. Easy eats. Easy eats, baby. We eating up just fine. Get Skull of Pete out here. We got a Guard. So we're definitely going to Guard here. And then have this Dynamax turn and, and the Tailwind end as well. But definitely Aqua Jet and take out Incineroar. Say, yo, see you later, Punk. Aqua Jet, baby. And then Dynamax and just hit that Guard button. Play it slow. Just relax here. Just re relax, Jeans. Everyone knows Porygon Z is a huge threat. This thing's an absolute beast. But, like I said, look at him. He's spazzing again. It's so funny. He's just like, like starts flying on his arms and legs. He's one of my favorite Pokemons. I feel like I have so many favorite Pokemons, but I don't know. Like I said in the beginning of the video, Pokemon I still want to show off. If you guys want to make me teams with the new Pokemon, I would love to show off a, uh, a Tangrowth, Licky Licky, the Cobalion, and the other one. Not the Terrakion. There's another one. I forget what, what it's called. But I would love to show them off. Same thing with Klefki, Sharpedo. There's still tons of uh, new Pokemon that I haven't shown off. So if you guys got hands-on Pokemon that you know I haven't shown off yet, leave them in the comment section down below or make it easier for me by DMing me over on my Instagram page. Just link my Instagram down in the description below. Uh, it's jeans underscore YouTube. But let's get it. What's going to happen here? Guard's coming out here. Sculpin's like such a cool Pokemon. Such a cool Pokemon. Aqua Jack comes out. We can say bye-bye Incineroar. And hopefully it goes for a max strike over on my Sculpin side. That'd be perfect. That would just be wonderful. That'd be beautiful. Right, Max Strike? Oh. You little biscuit. You little biscuit. He just outplayed me. He just read me so hard. I give him props. I give him props. We get our speed boost, so we go back to normal. I think we outspeed, like, all this. But you little biscuit. I'll play the buns off me. I go for that uh, that read right there. Now it goes into Urshifu. Again, I'm not too worried. I think I think Porygon Z has to go down before Urshifu, right? Right, Porygon Z has to go down before Urshifu. Hmm. I'd rather uh, secure this KO with this. Let's take out the Porygon Z because I don't want him going into a big old hyper beam. Just life orb adaptability just dumping on me like that, you know? So we're gonna go into this flutter by here. I don't think these things rock out with protect. Poor guy, especially the poor guy I used, did not have protect. Hopefully, Urshifu protects, that'll be amazing. And yeah, is that what he's deciding? Like, do I do, I do this Urshifu? Do I protect this Urshifu? Let's see what he does. Let's see what he does. 
I still got two more dynamax turns. He gets for surgeon strikes here. And three crits are coming out. We eat up just fine. I'm surprised that thing actually outspeeds me. The prize, because what's going really, really fast is Sculpey. He's like 180, right? Which is really, really strong. He get hit three times. We should go before this Porygon. Yeah, if we take out this Porygon, one's going to be real close. Yes, Porygon's down for the count here. But the thing is, Urshifu goes first. Urshifu goes first, and if he gets a high roll on these Surgeon Strikes, or maybe just one of them crits, we're dead. Or not one of them crits, or all three going to crit. But if he just gets, like, high rolls on him, you know? Oh, we get our speed boost, though. Hold up. Um, we gotta go for an ooze. I think that's our best bet. Go for an ooze here, because it is stab. It is stab. Give us a little bit of stab boost here. We do go first. Now, thank you, Mr. Speed Boost. Come on, do him dirty. Take him out. Let's not take him out, but we do get the special attack boost here for this. Does he have any first turn priority moves? I think he does. Certain strike come out. Mm, it's coming down close. 107. He has two more hits left. Oh my lord. Oh my lord. Leave me alone. Brings me down to red. 22. I don't think he has any first turn priority moves. Right? Unless he's rolling with Aqua Jet. Did he, does this guy learn Aqua Jet? I'm not liking this. I'm not liking this at all. Hmm. We gotta go for a poison jab. Poison jab's gotta get the KO. Come on. Don't you dare have Aqua Jet. He does not. Poison jab. Come on. Come on. Do him dirty. Plus one. Bruh. What you mean? <laughs> no. What? Wait a minute. I'm so dumb. I thought I kind of thought it was special attack. He's physical attack, and that's why the plus one special attack didn't do anything. But still, that was our that was our only that was our best bet was to go into the poison jab anyway, regardless if we would have gotten an attack boost or a special attack boost. One and two with this team, not that bad. I feel like if we would have made different plays or just a few little tweaks in the two battles that we lost, we probably would have won them. This team was amazing. I know at the end of that last battle, I was like, oh, special attack boost, blah, 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 when this thing's actually a physical attacking Pokemon. But I feel like that was our best bet. What Either way, was going to the max ooze, regardless of it giving us the stab boost and the poison jab, because they were both stab and bug moves did nothing. It did nothing. It was not very effective, and EQ wasn't stab. But one nice shout-out to my boy Randy for making this team. I absolutely love it. It was good. I really did enjoy the team, especially with the Volcarona, the Azumarill, and all the shinies that you put into it. It was awesome. But guys, that is going to be for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when my videos go live. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you all in the next one. Peace out, everyone.